Welcome back, folks, to Let's 100% Vice City. In the last part, uh, we finished up all of Ken Rosenberg's missions and finished up the top fun missions on this side of Vice City. In this part, we're gonna take an assassination hit. Mr. Teal, for help in eradicating those out of towners was invaluable to business. I have more work for you with a more hands on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. Now, uh, I don't know if it's just me looking into this too much, but when I hear out of towners, all I can think of is Tom, uh, is Tommy and Lance when their deal was going down. So I'm wondering if this, w uh, if the guy who who uh, we took this phone from was not only the guy who. <clears throat> uh, was not only the guy who, oh shit, uh, was not only the guy who just might have been involved, but it was actually the person who executed the order, God damn it. Okay, when I practiced this, it was much easier, but I guess he doesn't have a fixed pattern. So yeah, all you need to do is get this guy off his, uh, his scooter and then, uh, hit him and then run him over really, really hard. You know, as you do. So you just gotta get in the right position and knock him off. He's actually very good at being evasive and he just delivered a pizza to nobody. So just gotta get one good run over. There you go, 500 easy dollars. So that's actually gonna be our only uh, central style of the missions uh, for this entire part. Cause what I wanna do for the rest of this is actually uh, the Rampage missions. And the Rampage style missions are some of the harder ones to actually pull off. They are very, very likely to get you killed. And I really should wait until I'm like, until I've done both the Vigilante missions, the uh, Firefighter missions, and the Paramedic mission. However, I can do them now, so why not? Anyway. So I probably should have chosen a better vehicle for this one, because now this rampage is run over 30 people. The running over ones are usually some of the easier ones to pull off, because you're a bit safer. Alright. And so all you have to uh, worry about is somebody uh, knocking you out of the car. Alright, now just gotta look for some gang members to run over. Now these guys just look like ordinary guys. They really are gang members. I forget which gang they're a part of though. Shit! Yeah, like I said, like the main worry about doing these, doing run over missions is that people will knock you out of your car. All right, and squishy time. So yeah. Of all so being surrounded by gang members, I was taken out of my car by a fat guy who looks like an out of a, an off-duty cop or something. Is that, that's the most embarrassing way for a thug or for a, uh, professional criminal to get. God damn it! I was hoping that I could get him speed. Shit. I don't care if you're the ultimate fool. I gotta finish this. God damn it! Shit! Oh my god, he's gonna chase me. Okay, no he didn't. Alright, come on. I did this one easy! And with like a solid minute less! God damn, but they're actually getting- but they're actually really good so far at like, jumping out of the way. Oh man, really? I ran out of time! Damn it! Oh, that sucks. That's a terrible start. Oh, and of course now it's raining, so I gotta deal with slippery physics. Oh my god, nobody? Really? Come on, nobody! Are you kidding me? Oh, there's somebody. I think I saw them. 
Yeah, okay, so here's the uh, Colombian gang members. This is uh, the members of Diaz's gang that I'm running over here. So yeah, no matter what, whenever you start to kill these guys, uh, some of the people are going to start firing back, as, uh, as expected, really. Alright, come on. Oh, fuck off. Ow. Hey, that cop took my kills! Okay, so thankfully we're on our way to doing overall a better job. Oh, shit, I did miss some guys. I had to slow down right there because I was like, okay, I don't want to accidentally get myself uh, stuck in the ocean. So, regardless of how violent you get or how gruesome your actions are, as soon as you finish the mission, if it will fucking do it, Oh shit, there's the guys over here. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the other big problem, is getting the cops on your ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Yeah, and no matter what, you'll always end up with, uh, your wanted level resetting. Although then, afterwards, I sure, I, uh, I ran someone over. So now, on to the second rampage, which this one is, uh, one that you're gonna really want to do have done the firefighter missions beforehand because without it it is very scary uh it is extremely easy to accidentally kill yourself by running into fire or throwing too short oh shit like i almost did there it is a lot the easy strategy is to get the firefighter perk and then um and then just throw intentionally short. So I gotta be very careful with my timing here. Alright, and thankfully it looks like I've gotten the easy path. Oh, minor note, but you cannot collect money from bodies until after... Uh... God damn it. Where are they? Okay, finally. But yeah, you can't m collect money from bodies until after the rampage is finished. I, I think it's a way of uh, to stop it from being abused. Uh, but anyway, so we've got two down, and how many in total do we have here on this side? Sixteen. Well, actually, seventeen. But one of them, I think, is out in the middle of the ocean, and you're, I think that one, I'm almost certain that's a sniper one. So yeah, of the struggles with attempting to get all of the rampages the main one is going to be staying alive second one would be trying to minimize attention from the police and the other one is actually getting the enemies to spawn in enough to actually be able to kill them as was clearly a problem with the running over mission okay now here at a bit at that uh, garage that we got all of that money from you are uh, cone crazy was the mission uh, now we have a rampage here, and this is possibly the most eerie to life one, uh, which is just taking people out with a sniper rifle. And remember what I said about not having any people to kill? Okay, now we go. So now this time we have the Haitian, uh, gang members to kill. Uh, Haitian gang members are a bit of a controversial source in this game. Alright. Or, uh, controversial characters in this game. But that's to be covered later on. For now, is somebody attacking me or? No, it's, it must be below. So yeah, you just have to take them out with a sniper rifle. This is one of the safer missions, but you couldn't go risky to speed it up by choosing to, by choosing to uh, like go down and go on f and ground level to take care of these guys. That guy had a bunch of cash so yeah it would be faster to do this on ground level but it's probably not the smartest idea for obvious reasons any the way I'm doing safe and getting all right progress okay now only one more one more come on all right and boom shakalaka okay so the next rampage should actually be pretty nearby and I have most of my health so that's really nice actually so yeah, right here, hidden behind this tree, I'm gonna make sure I have all my breath. And by the way, I believe that's actually what the, uh, 
what the what the perk of uh, getting the ambulance is. Not the not as I mistakenly thought uh, the, uh, the extra health. I think that's San Andreas. So I'm trying to make sure that they kind of get close together. Trying to fucking decapitate it. God damn it. And now this cop is going to be the biggest pain in the ass. You trying me, man? Oh my god. He, at any point, he can knock you down in like two hits. Got it. Okay, that's what, one of the best things you can get. Is the... Is the, you, the two best things you can get is one is the beheading animation, the other being the impaling animation. All right, come on. Come on, yes, and even kicking them with the sword still counts as killing them with it. <laughs> oh my God! Thank you, Cubans. I'm, I feel really bad about killing you guys. Come on! Yes! Okay. That went so much better than it ever has in the past. Because when I was practicing this, that took me like a solid three or four tries. Because you can get really awful luck with how soon the cops see you, how cooperative the Cubans are, or like... No, actually last time I think I had Cubans as well. But... The, uh... But, like, everything could go wrong, but thankfully it didn't. Now, the next rampage, okay, well, it actually is close to here, but the main reason I'm walking over is actually to get this health. You can always get some health at the hospital, but right by the gas station, I believe, is where you can get the next rampage. It's actually all in the same block, so it's not that far away. So this one, I believe, is the chainsaw. This is actually easy and hard. It's easy to rack up the kills, but it's very difficult to survive because of how easy it is to just accidentally get killed by bullet fire be due to the fact that the uh the the chainsaw actually does not allow you to sprint and because of that you can't just hide behind cover all right and oh paramedics if they revive someone you can kill them again and it will count as another kill and wow we're gonna speed through this okay sweet that went also very, very well. Holy crap. I am making some nice speed here. I'm going to hope that I can go by the hospital again and uh, get myself patched up. I'm going to be very sad if I can't. Uh, oh, yes, I can. Yo, that is, that's awesome. All right. And I said that the next, the one of the next rampages was nearby. So let's go to it. I believe it's like right in here. Shit, not in the wall. Oh, wait, no, that's not the wall of the hospital. Here it is. Okay. There it is. Okay. I believe this is another sniper one. Or possibly a shotgun one. Oh, no, this one. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. So, the controls in this section are very, very odd. Like, the gun, as I'm sure I've sh uh, you've seen in previous parts, that manual aiming is very janky and not very likely to actually go to where your cursor is. So, what you have to do to maximize its uh, potential is to crouch and shoot. So, you can hope for better luck or to for a better spread. And once again, I'm getting exceptionally good luck with how to do this. So, oh my god, wow. So, holy crap. I might have to take down my own video for unrealistic expectations because, god damn, I am doing so well with these rampages. This is sick. It's never gotten this well for me, even when I was younger, when I was practicing, when I did this like the other two or three times. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is going so well. I'm getting very good spawns. And uh, I believe... The, the next one is actually in the... Oh, I think this is where things are about to go downhill because this is... This one is on top of the parking lot and it's actually... When I was practicing it, this was another one that was very tricky. 
Okay, so right here, and to make this a little bit easier on myself, I have to change to classic controls. Now I have no control over the camera, but my mouse still has some functionality to it. Notably is that right click is now a manual target, or is now an automatic target mode. Alright, and whenever I can see these guys. The reason for this is so that I can manually target these guys. Oh, come on, really? Dude, shoot the ones that are in front of you, Tommy! Oh my god. Yeah, this is what pisses people off about auto-targeting, is uh, the computer's choice in priorities. Yeah, but auto-targeting is necessary here because otherwise the game is very, very stupid about how, like, your manual aiming, uh, should apply. Because it doesn't actually shoot to where you aim. So instead, it- instead of, uh, instead of you having ba- uh, instead of, um, instead of you having alright aim and the computer fucking it up, the- it's better to have the computer's bad aim but- but get consistent shots every time. Alright. All right. Okay. So you can always check whether where the, uh, where there are corpses by just targeting. Oh my God! This guy's protected by invincible furniture. Okay. So I'm doing really well once again, but this one it's purely because of the automatic aim. All right. So just gotta get close and guarantee. Oh my God. Fucking hell, alright, well, whatever. So, I can turn my controls back to standard and hopefully the mouse will work. Yes, it does. I gotta get out of here. So, yeah, Tommy Versetti has uh, incited multiple race wars, the, not, but not between Cubans and Haitians, but between Cubans, Haitians, and what they perceive as truck drivers. Okay, so this one is in this property. It's actually, it's simultaneously uh, obscure, but also like kind of simple. Uh, so this one, once again, it's actually much better to have the manual aim be or the uh, auto aim because the manual aim for this, for any non guns that were, for any guns that weren't designed with it in mind are pretty bad. Oh my God. I manually, okay. Just saying, but it, uh, when I roll my mouse wheel, I'm trying to, like, change targets, but, like, the game is being very, uh, like, uh, selective with when to actually register it. Jesus Christ, that was amazing range! Like, the other times when I was using my shotgun, it was just like, nah, dog, I'm not doing shit. Alright, thanks, uh, paramedics. You gave me, uh, double currency. Alright. Oh, yeah, and this is, one thing about this gun, which is actually very nice, is it's one of the... F it's, uh, one of the pretty, it's one of the decently heavy, uh, weapons that you can actually still, uh, that you can still sprint in. Alright, so we're actually making very, very nice progress. Alright. Yeah, so we're up to our eighth rampage, and we've done very nicely for ourselves. I believe the next two are actually very close in proximity to each other. It's, I think, just across this bridge. Saved. Saved again. Wow, we flipped twice. Okay, so we're doing much better for ourselves than we were in GTA 3 when we would flip again and again and again, but we'd also die a lot. So, here is the next ramp rage. So, ah, a different kind of shotgun, and I still have my manual mode on, which I forgot to turn off, but that's fine. Ah, okay, more Cubans. So yeah, unfortunately we have a cop very close to our proximity, so he is going to be a giant pain in the ass, especially because I can't sprint. Ah, but thankfully, he cannot climb walls! He's the greatest art, the greatest defense to the law. Ah, uh, yes. 
That fucking line is perfect for him not being able to climb over walls. Holy shit. Alright, so... I need some more to spawn in, but they're not coming in. God damn it. Oh! Shit, wow, a lot more. Oh, I'm actually a little bit low on health. Oh, shit! Shit, okay. So, I got some... Okay, I got a lot more than I was expecting. But, uh, fuck it, okay. I'm still pretty close by to where the, to where, uh, the other rampage is. Because it's all on this same building, it's just a little bit further north. So let's see what it is, because I genuinely forgot what it is. What I'm pretty sure it is, is a sniper rifle. Um, and that, those are always fairly safe. Wow, I'm making fucking excellent time. Holy shit. This is tremendous. So this, I specifically remember climbing this, because I was like, okay. I kept my manual mode, my manual camera on, or my, uh, my auto camera on, and I was like, it was a nightmare climbing it because the camera doesn't cooperate, and each of these, uh, stairs only has one side railed. So, yeah. So, prostitutes, and... So, just gotta look around a bit, and just reset everyone around me, and Cubans. Man, I'm really just whittling down the Cubans. Okay. Yeah, try to get rid of the rear one just so that uh, the other guys don't run immediately. And gotta hope for more spawns. Look everywhere. Do any, did any more spawn? Yes! Oh my god, that was so fast! Man! Too easy! Wow! I was really worried initially about how this would go down, but it's gone! Absolutely amazingly. Unfortunately, next up we have a drive-by one, and those are a pain in the ass. Oh, but <laughs> I had a passenger on the way over here. Anyway, as I said, this is a drive-by mission, and unfortunately, right behind us is a cop. So, gotta hope that we get decently lucky. Oh my God! Really. I got a pretty alright amount of gang members already. I have to hope that more can spawn in, and hopefully, uh, without cops getting on my ass, as they do often. Oh, hey! Wow, big chunk of them. Alright, come on! God damn it! Yes! Okay. Now, oh my god, we're not even halfway. I forgot that this one needs like 35. Jesus, that, I, is like, and I forgot that there's, there's so many layers to why this is actually a pretty rough mission that I forgot some of them. Oh, hey, you stole my kill. All right. Don't let this majestic sunset distract you from the drive-by. All right. Alright, yeah, and as you can see, this is a bit of a dangerous mission for a couple of reasons. One, because you're in a car, you can get more easily busted. Two, these guys are shoot- she got two groups shooting at you. Oh my god. And three, they can also just pincer you in, and oh my god, no. Okay, good, Jesus Christ. That was so fucking close. Oh my god, I got the helicopter. This is bad, oh, this is bad. Come on. Oh! Undercover cops! Wow! It's also really tricky to do this, the drive-by, uh, button presses while uh, on a keyboard as opposed to a controller. But anyway... Whew, that went, uh, that went simultaneously worse than I expected, but also a lot better. Because I figured as soon as I saw, as soon as a cop was there, when the rampage started, it was gonna go to hell. But thankfully, uh, it just kind of went alright. I didn't fail. That's the main benefit of this whole thing. I didn't fail. Have your eyes cleaned. That's an amazing line. <laughs> Have your eyes cleaned. That is so much better than just saying, Are you blind? Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Tommy Versetti versus the Cuban population. Holy crap. 
All right, so this time I'm uh, you. I I do have some armor, but otherwise I'm still a bit low on health. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! By the way, that dive you can get busted out of it. So be careful when you use it. Come on, where are the gang members? Damn it! Oh, there they are. Oh my god, no! What? I have never seen that before. I have never seen a cop spot you when you're... Uh, spot you when... Jesus Christ, there's a lot of money. Uh, spot you when you're on the ground and not bust you immediately. That... I have never seen that before. That has got to be a first for me. Ever. Holy crap. This is a very eventful part. Wow. And here I thought the rampages were going to be kind of dull. Okay, so now these last couple of missions, I'm going to do them in the... Oh, oh, hey! I did not know she was there. Okay, so I, I carjacked the guy who was taking a prostitute. There's weird layers to what Tommy Versetti does. So anyway, now this is another rampage I remember having some trouble with. And like before, we have to... Have to try to kill people, but this time we're actually on, uh... Like before, we're on level with the rest of them. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit! Oh, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh, my god. Shit! Okay. So, I think around this place is a... A uh, single piece of armor, but otherwise I think we're screwed because I have to waste so much time and I can't sprint with this gun. Oh my god, that got... that one so much worse than I intended. Sadly, this is one where actually having too many gang members is a big problem because... Uh... Because you're a lot... it's a lot harder to not get fucking mowed down by them all. Oh my god, they must have gotten out of my active range. Oh my god. Fuck. I'm so low on time. Yeah, that can happen very easily too, but with your fucking back turned. Oh my god, fuck no. I have to fucking take care of these guys out of the way for... Alright, come on. Come on! I'm so fucking close! I've recovered! I've gotten so close! Shit, come on! Come on! Come on! No! So close! Damn it! Okay. I don't know how these things recharge, but I'm gonna. Oh wait, I can get healed here, and I can hope. Now, please, anything. Enjoy your meal, sir. Yeah, to those who think that GTA 4 started uh, food healing you, it was this game, I believe. I don't think this was in GTA uh, 3 either. So, yeah, bit of a high wanted level to start off, but fuck it, I'm gonna try again. Oh my god! Fucking undercover cops! Who are fucking immune to bullets, apparently. Hey, I didn't do that. Oh my god, wow. Ah, this is a terrible start to this mission. God damn it. Oh, come on. Alright, I gotta try to get, like, as many in one pretty lean shot. All right, how many am I down to? I've gotten 10. Uh, that's a pretty decent rate, but I have to try to not die. All right, come on, armor. No armor, shit, it still hasn't spawned. Fuck. It's hilarious that the only reason I'm killing the cops is because they're, they're getting in the way of me, of the people who I actually want to kill. I didn't mean to kill the cops, they were just stopping me from killing who I wanted to kill. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh my god, the chopper's shooting at me now. Ah, oh, fuck. 
Come on. Fuck. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, fuck. Come on. So close. Damn it. Shit. All right, so the first really big failure. I started badly by, like, failing a mission, but I didn't die. I just, like, couldn't get enough people to run over. So, anyway, thankfully, a cool improvement from Vice City uh, over Grand Theft Auto 3 is that they have multiple save, uh, or sorry, they have multiple hospitals and multiple police stations. So if you get uh, seen or you get busted or wasted in northern, northeastern Vice City, you're gonna end up in a northeastern hospital. Let's try this again. Yo, we didn't mean that, right? Uh, shit, I forgot. Are these guys- No! Cubans again?! Okay, there's like a rating in the game, like, least favorite gang, and... I don't know if it takes into account rampages, but it's- that's gonna be in there. Alright. To the human race? Uh, let's see. Ah! Yes. So yeah, I'm just firing at these guys from extremely close range to minimize the chance of me missing. Alright. And getting pretty good luck so far. Alright. So... And thankfully, I'm not getting big panic reactions out of their- out of the gate with them immediately. Alright. Alright. Shit, come on. Fuck. Oh, hey! Okay, so I'm very, very close! It's too bad I don't know how to manually reload in this game. I think it's actually by sl uh, sliding between weapons. Alright. Sweet! Okay, so now only the gang members are coming after me, not the cops. So, in celebration... Ah, uh, shit. I'm going into the mall, and try to collect myself to figure out where the hell the next... Oh, yeah, the next three are actually outside. I just, I just went in there to- FUCK! They, they were waiting for me! Okay, so the next, uh... Yeah, the next two are actually behind buildings. So you just have to go over there. Spare fifty dollars. All right. So the next one is right here, uh, next to one of your potential safe houses, and it's actually one of the more uh, regular ones. It's just a fucking revolver. But like all weapons that were originally intended to be automatic or to be auto aim, it's probably better, especially for something like this where there's such a big cooldown time. Jesus Christ. What the hell? It's not... It's not letting me shoot. Okay, yeah, that's the big benefit of using auto-aim. Is that you can just, uh, you can cancel the cooldown. Although a big benefit of this weapon is, in general, the fact that I think it's like one-hit kill no matter what. Yeah, but sometimes it bugs up. I just shot at his dick and it was enough to kill him. As you do. As expected, I should say. I don't expect most of you guys to shoot people in the dick. It's a, it's a bit of an asshole thing to do. Oh my god, come on! Fucking stop! Uh, I don't actually know if shooting the... Because that, that van that came up, that's actually also a gang, but I don't think they count. Because I think they're like the non-designated gang. Alright. There we go! So, two more rampages left! And once again, it's just, uh, outside of a building. Just a little bit further west. So yeah, right here, right at the edge of the building. I can't remember what the hell this is. This is- Oh, it's a drive- it's another drive-by mission, but this one I think is a bit easier because the area is so big.
Ah, damn it. I couldn't get... God damn it. Here I was saying it's more it's uh, more likely to be easier because it's so big, but then I start fucking up. Oh my god. So many fucking cars. Come on. Ah, oh, I, thought, I thought that was actually a gang member running away. You know, the idea that uh, non-gang members would be the ones running away. How odd. Anyway, uh, come on! Oh shit. Yeah, as I said, like, the controls for drive-bys are a bit weird, because in order to look, uh, left, or left or right, it's like the buttons above your right and left. Wow, that was fast! Okay. So now, to finish this off, I'm gonna be doing, uh, what is probably the most dangerous single mission. Alright. This is the most dangerous mission, but it's probably the most in or it's probably the most appropriate one to just end on. Is the uh mall or the point blank mall <clears throat> the point blank mall rocket launcher mission. So should be here. It's on the other side. So this is one of the harder missions to not kill yourself on. Wait, what the hell? Oh there it is. Mm, as opposed to bad to the bone. So this one is very tr tough to not accidentally blow yourself up Because this is kind of confined uh, quarters And it's very easy to accidentally shoot something that is a uh, oh fuck To accidentally shoot something that will cause clipping problems. Oh shit. I can't- and also, you can't jump with this. Alright. So you have to be very, very careful about where you fire your rockets. But, thankfully, whenever you fire a rocket, it has a pretty huge- well, both fortunately and unfortunately. You're gonna kill a lot of- you're gonna get a lot of points very quickly, but it's very easy to accidentally get yourself killed. Oh fuck. That's what me- uh, this is what me trying to avoid uh, damage and I still got fucking hit. God damn it. Okay. But that's probably about as good as I can do without accidentally getting myself killed. Yes! Okay! So that is all of the rampages in Vice City East for now. <sighs> so anyway, let's celebrate with uh, Come on, food now. Big old Here's wiener. And it, if that last set comment sounded weird, look what look what they're serving. It's beef bandit and it's hot dogs. You fucking weirdos. Anyway, now I'm out. Whew! That was fucking. That was freaking amazing actually that was I did a tremendous job at freaking doing the rampages I surprised myself so anyway that's gonna be it for this part of let's play uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City 100% so before I go off to the next part where I'm gonna start taking missions from Cortez I'm actually going to buy another piece of property just to increase my numbers bit by bit. So here, I'm gonna buy El Swanco for $8,000. El Swanco Caso, El Swanco Casa. And here's a new place I can save. Join me next time when we meet, or we uh, meet up once again with Cortez, take some missions, and we learn to manage our stamina better. See you guys then.